News that rapper Nkule Gohabedi died shocked his family and friends. He was better known as Flaba and was a member of the popular hip-hop group Squatter Camp. Habedi was stabbed to death by his girlfriend Cindy Siwemangale at his home in Alexander on the wee hours of the 9th of March after an argument ensued between the couple. They were both allegedly intoxicated after a night of partying at a certain club. Mangale was arrested and Flaba was buried at West Park Cemetery in Johannesburg. In her earlier court appearance, Mangale had mentioned that she was in great pain. She claimed to have sustained bruises and stab wounds to her stomach as a result of the fight between her and Flaba. <laughs> The magistrate then agreed that she'd be examined by a private doctor. After fatally stabbing Habedi with a knife, Mangale had also attempted to commit suicide by cutting her wrists. But, according to Sepang Flaba's younger brother, Mangale deliberately wounded herself after stabbing the former hip-hop star to death. In her defense in court, Mangale pleaded not guilty, saying Flaba attacked her with a knife. She said she freaked out during the attack and later managed to take the weapon from his hands and stabbed him. But forensic pathologist Tandi Mahuluhulu told the court that Mangala's version of the events should be treated with caution. Mahuluhulu said the person who stabbed the musician used considerable force. The trial will resume on the 16th of October in the Johannesburg High Court, sitting at the Rambic Magistrates Court, with the defense calling in the pathologist. I'm Makwena Manamela reporting for Times Media Group.